So this session will deal with the um, correct joint rotations when building skeletons. Um, it's part of a, a, a two-part um, video about how to set up uh, a good skeleton uh, and what you should expect both in terms of values um, and the local rotations of, of joints. So this one deals with rotations of joints and understanding what joints are doing when you first create them. Um, so as always, uh, whenever I'm creating a, a joint chain, go into orthographic mode, so I've just gone into um, a right view, and um, just go to skeleton, and I'm just going to create um, a joint chain that purposefully changes the direction of the of the joints. Okay. Um, one thing when you are creating joint chains is um, if I select the um, the top of the chain, the parent, the rest of the chain goes green, and this gives you a false sense of security that you think that you've selected the the entire joint chain, and that's not actually correct. Um, if I bring up my outliner and just shift and click on the plus, which you know that there's a hierarchy underneath it. Um, if you if you hold shift down, um, that expands the whole hierarchy so that you can see um, I've only selected um, the top joint. Um, so just be careful with things, um, uh, just selecting the, the top joint. It does go green, but you've not selected everything. Okay. Um, if you want to do that, you can obviously um, shift select in your viewport viewport or you can um, shift select um, the start and end or if you're in windows you can control and single click and that adds to your selection as well so that's a, just a, a good way of selecting okay so with the um, hierarchy selected uh, another way is to select the parent and then under modify under edit select hierarchy so I've got got that there and that's another way of selecting the hierarchy um, I've actually dragged that to my uh, custom shelf so I've got uh, select hierarchy there so whenever I click on the the master um, I click on that and that selects the hierarchy okay um, so this is all about the correct joint rotations um, and as you can see the joints are always um, pointing down uh, the chain um, but let's have a look at how uh, specifically those, rota those rotations are um, acting out and to do that with the hierarchy selected you can go to display um, transform display local rotation axes okay and that will give you um, uh, the exact rotation of the joints and and the reason I, I created a joint chain that was going in different directions was because I knew that um, it would send um, the orientation of the joints backwards and forwards okay so as you can see on the base uh, Z is to the left and then the next one Z is off to the right to the left and to the right and so why does that matter well um, you will start getting very odd behavior in your joints so for example if this hypothetically was a torso and I shift and selected the joints and wanted to go to rotate um, if I rotate them all in the Z, I get very weird behavior because the um, uh, the joints that are facing one way rotate uh, in positive Z that way, and the joints um, that are facing the other way are, are, are the invoice, inverse, should I say? Um, so that just gives you really um, weird behavior that you just don't want uh, when you're creating a skeleton. Um, you know, you, you want to select the, the whole joints and when you rotate them um, all one way, you get a, a nice curve 
okay, um, because they're all behaving exactly the same. So this is all about changing the um, the rotations of the joint. Uh, and there's numerous ways of doing this. And um, the first way, um, so let's let's just decide uh, in this example which way I want all the joints to face. So I'm going to take the lead from the base where um, my z-axis is literally facing, if you look at your world icon, um, it's facing negative x. Okay, So literally I need to restore this one and I need to restore that one because they're facing the wrong way. Um, so one, one way to do it is in Maya's uh, skeleton orient joints and literally um, X is pointing down uh, the joint chain so X is the primary axis and so um, in the orient joint options I've got primary axis and secondary axis so I'm going to use X as the primary that's pointing down the chain I'm going to use Z um, as the secondary axis okay so I'm going to uh, keep that there and literally uh, I want it uh, Z just like um, this uh, base joint I want Z to be pointing in negative X so secondary axis is Z and uh, its world orientation is negative so you've got positive and negative there and I'm wanting to face it in negative X okay um, I don't want to orient the children I just want that joint and click on apply and that flicks it over okay so now that that's set up uh, I can literally do it for that one as well okay so now you can see um, that I've got that consistency of rotation okay Y is always um, facing backwards um, and Z is always facing the left okay um, I always find uh, the end or the termination joint the easiest way of, of doing that is to uh, bring up your attribute editor control A and where you've got joint orient just zero out that end um, uh, that end joint make sure everything's zero and it will take on the rotation of its parent okay um, so there you can see everything is now aligned so that's that's one way of doing it using Myers skeleton orient joint now the thing to bear in mind with this is that it only works when your joint chain um, is in the orthographic mode okay um, Maya is pretty poor at aligning joint chains that are not in, not in orthographic so as a general rule um, literally um, make sure that um, you build the joints in orthographic and you sort out the rotations before you start positioning um, which is in the next uh, session okay um, so let's undo that um, so that restores the joints back to how they were okay um, now the other way of, of doing it um, is using um, a relatively old um, tool ri written by Michael Comet um, and uh, I've put it on my shelf so um, if I click on it 